Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me to Tea Fest in Pennsylvania. It's my first year going and I'm very, very excited. I'm also happy that you guys get to come along with me. So let's go ahead and get started. The Tea Festival took place at the Rosemary House and Gardens located in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. The festival starts at the registration desk where you receive a goodie bag and a cup of tea for tasting tea throughout the event. Once you receive your entry wristband, you're off to the garden to interact with different tea vendors and tea lovers from all over the tri-state area. I even met two lovely sisters from Ohio. The garden area had delightful experiences to offer like a garden herb tour, which was very educational. I learned a lot about different herbs and their medicinal functions, as well as using these herbs to make teas that are not only delicious, but also healing. In the garden, I was also privileged to take part of a traditional Japanese ceremonial tea. I learned a lot about Japanese culture and hospitality, as well as the ceremonial tea ritual and customs. I enjoyed a delicious red bean dessert and a hot cup of matcha. They also had a view a few vendors throughout the garden and beautiful relaxing music. My favorite event in the garden was the afternoon tea. Afternoon tea was served inside the tea room or outside in the garden. I chose to sit outside because the weather was beautiful that day. The tables were available at a first come first serve basis and they offered different tea menus. I selected the one plate afternoon tea, which was $25 and included a pot of tea. I chose the cherry almond flavor. Um, it also includes a selection of savories. Of course, I chose the vegetarian option and everything was absolutely delicious. It also included a cream scone with clotted cream and jam and a variety of desserts, which were also very scrumptious. After a lovely afternoon tea, I headed past the garden to listen to an amazing lecture by Lorna Reeves, the editor of Tea Time Magazine. Her lecture on hosting afternoon tea was very informative and I really learned a lot about the craft of entertaining over tea. Afterwards, Lorna was at a table Selling, her, selling and signing her books, and I had the pleasure of meeting her, and I just felt like she was very pleasant as well as very demure. Once that was over, I walked around and checked out the other vendors. There was a variety of different vendors selling awesome teas that, like I said, you can taste as you go through, uh, teaware, and other tea-related products. Before I left for the day, I took a stroll inside the main store and checked out all of the amazing products they have from herbs to teas, books and accessories, and so much more. It was truly a charming store and I loved how friendly and helpful everyone was. Hey everyone, I wanted to close off this video by just doing a little haul with you, showing you what I got at the tea festival. So this is the bag that has all the goodies in it, but first let me talk about the price of admission. So if you bought your tickets in advance, they were $12 for just the admission if you bought your tickets on Eventbrite. Now some of the classes were an additional pricing, so you could also purchase um, the ticket with the uh, with the addition of the class or classes on Eventbrite as well, and it was a lot less expensive. Um, if you purchased your tickets the day of at the event, then they were fifteen dollars rather than twelve dollars. And I would say that if you're if you want to join any of the classes, any of the paid classes, because there were some lectures and things that were for free. But if you wanted any of the paid classes and you want to do that early on and purchase your tickets earlier rather than later because everything <laughs> fills up rather quickly, I did learn that the hard way. Um, I didn't really learn about the festival until much later in the year anyway. 
Um, but I did get some information from someone at the festival. I usually tickets start going for sale in July. So if you want to get into one of those special classes, you want to purchase your tickets early. I waited until the day of because all the classes were booked anyway. So I was just basically paying for uh, general admission and I just paid in person um, because I had plans to go, but I wasn't 100% sure since it was a bit of a distance from where I live. Um, so I just decided if I'm able to make the voyage <laughs> on Friday, then I'll just pay in person. So I paid $15, but with the admission, you buy it online or in person, you get a, a tote bag that has, um, you know, the name of the festival, PAT festival, uh, so they give you a complimentary bag. You also got a complimentary uh, magazine, Tea Time, Mag uh, Tea Time Magazine. And one of the editors, um, as I mentioned in the video, was there. And so um, we got a free copy of this particular issue of the magazine, which I'm looking forward to reading it because it has a vegan sunflower afternoon tea so I'm all about that and then of course you got um, the schedule for the day with the activities and it shows you like what activities are on Friday what was on Saturday I went on Friday and um, you know it just shows you like a picture of the property which was pretty large it took place um, and it always takes place in the garden um, of Rosemary, uh, what's it called? I think it's called Rosemary, Rosemary's Tea Room. Yeah, oh, sorry, the Rosemary House and Sweet Remembrances Tea Room. And then of course, um, it had all of the vendors on there. And then this was just the schedule for for Friday, all of the events and the lectures and then uh, the garden activities and even like who was playing music at what time. So very organized. And they also gave you a cup, which I don't have in the bag. I mean, but it's in the kitchen. I just washed it because they give you a cup. It's a small little cup. Um, it doesn't have a handle or anything, but it was very cute. Um, and it also comes in with general admission. So. Basically, um, they give you a cup because all of mostly all of the vendors are going to have tea for you to try. And so you get your own little cup and you go to each station and you just try all the teas. So um, the cup, by the time I got home, of course, it was all full of tea stains. So I had to put it in, you know, in the sink and I washed it, but I didn't put it back in the bag. So, um... Just take my word for it it was a cute little cup <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you what i got all right so one of the um vendors was from ohio tea company and they were there and they were giving out these little sample bags which are really cute so this little bag says my cup of happy and inside is where all of the tea goodies are. So they gave uh, samples of some of their teas. So this one is Chamomile Compassion. And again, it's from Ohio Tea Co. This one is Hot Cinnamon. And this is Black Tea with cinnamon and cloves. And this is Jasmine Green. So a nice green tea. And then also in the bag, these little tea candies. They also gave me these um, little tea candies. This I've tried one. This one I've tried before, it's really good. And these two are new flavors to me. This one is the citrus green tea, and this is green tea latte. So looking forward to trying those. And then they also gave you a coupon, just in case. I love any of their products and I want to purchase, I get 15% off. So that was one of the items that I got. 
And that was for free, by the way. I didn't have to pay for that. That was a sample. I did purchase this though. This was from a vendor called TU Bear. That's so cute. Um, and it has, um, doesn't say how many, oh yeah, this has six sachets and this is coconut cabana, which is an oolong tea with coconut flavor. So that just sounded really good. And I decided to purchase it. I did try one of the teas from this vendor, but it wasn't that one. The one that I tried from that same vendor that was really delicious was a vanilla matcha. So this, they were selling that um, at that vendor's table and it's actually just a matcha powder that, um, and it says that it is 100% organic and ceremonial grade. Um, and you can use it with hot or cold water. I actually tried it cold and it was delicious. It's a vanilla flavored matcha, really good. If I love matcha, just plain matcha, but if you don't like like the earthiness of the matcha flavor, try it with it like this flavoring because you really can't taste the matcha that much. Like it's there, but it's very subtle, and and the vanilla helps, you know, to make it just a little sweeter. Really good. I think it even has some stevia in it, so it's sweet without having any sugar in it. Yeah, so it does have, it has a blend of erythrol and stevia. So it's sweet without having sugar. It was really good. Then, from another vendor called Green Hall Tea, and I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, but I got some scone mix. <laughs> um, I, I either make my own or I'll use a mix, uh, but if I'm not making it from scratch, I'm using a mix. I've never tried this particular brand, um, but I'm excited. This one is lemon poppy seed scone mix, so I'll be making those soon. And that was $7.50, by the way, so it wasn't expensive at all. Uh, I also have some more uh, oolong tea samples. This was from a company called Allison Mountain. Um, actually, I'm not sure if it's Allison Mountain is where the tea is from and then the vendor is called Sally's Parlor. I think that's what it is. So I got that as a sample. Now, uh, Rosemary's Tea Room, um, or the Rosemary House with, in conjunction with the tea room, it was all just like one big property. They had their own uh, store, and of course, they also had the tea room where I had the afternoon tea, as you saw in the video. And from them, I purchased this um, cherry almond. It's actually a decaf cherry almond, so it's black tea, but it's a caffeinated, and the flavor, as I let you know in the video, was amazing. I really loved it, so I brought some home, and as you can see, I've already had some because I broke the seal before I filmed this. It was, it's just really good. And then I also purchased from them this DIY elderberry syrup. I went on uh, the garden tour, as I mentioned earlier in the video, and um, they have an elderberry tree. So I purchased this. The uh, dried elderberries are in here, mixed with a couple other things. And then you just follow directions to make the syrup. And I did try the syrup already made and it was very delicious. And elderberry is just really healthy for you. It helps your immune system. So I was happy to get that. That I think was $10. And then also from inside of the shop, I got these I Love Tea stickers because, you know, why not? They're so cute. I figured I can put them on postcards or even like when my nieces come over, I can give them some stickers. It was fun. They were a dollar, so I bought them. And then this um, uh, gift card holder, really cute for a nice gift. 
I figured, let me get that. That was $3.95, but I love the design. And yeah, so I purchased that. And then last, but certainly not least, this is my favorite thing that I purchased. I bought some books. As I mentioned, the editor for Tea Time Magazine was there. She gave a whole wonderful presentation on afternoon tea and she had her books there for sale and she signed them. So I purchased the tea parties around the world because I love to learn about other cultures and just uh, the, the, the diversity of, of tea ceremonies around the world is just fascinating to me. So I purchased that one and like I said, she signed it. May all your tea times be enjoyable. So that was really nice. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, to reading it, but look at some of those uh, tea, part, um, tea party inspirations is what I was trying to say. This is like from Japan that they have from all parts of the world. This one is like a Moroccan theme. Look at those colors. And that food looks amazing. So looking forward to reading this. And then I got a second one because they were $10 each, so why not? And this one is called Tea and Scones, the Ultimate Collection of Recipes for Tea Time. And so she signed this one as, as well with a different message, wishing you many sweet moments over tea. And this one is just, you know, it goes over the different types of scones, sweet, savory, it has all the recipes and it even has like tea pairings so which teas go well with the different type of scones i didn't purchase any teacups or teapots they did have some for sale i did i did see some that were lovely and i would have loved to bring them home but you know there were some other things that i was interested in and so i just <laughs> made the reasonable choice to just purchase something different other than the teapots and the teacups um, because I already have plenty of those and I'll continue to add more but um, you know the books seemed a little bit more interesting because I do love to learn more about tea in general and just how to make fabulous tea parties so I can continue to bring you guys great content so that is everything for the haul that's everything for this video I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Have a tea-rific day. Bye.